seven. Will so, we make it on the way back? I don't know. Looks like a lot of people haven't. <laughs> we just have to we just have to keep that in mind whenever we pick up this new thing we're getting. Make sure it ain't over 13 foot seven or we ain't going that way. Welcome back to the channel. So it is currently Sunday afternoon and 34 degrees and I got Hannah dragged out and she hates the cold weather, but um, I was like, hey, I am not I'd... the same person when I'm cold. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I need help picking up this new thing I bought six months ago. And we're just now making time to go get it. So that's what we're doing today is picking up this truck. Yeah, we, we couldn't have went when it was nice out. It's like too cold for me to even look outside, but yeah, here so, we are. Yeah, so let's wait till it's 34 degrees and we're weenies in the cold so mm -hmm. yeah we're in Columbus we're gonna meet our buddy uh, Cody and um, Brittany and um, see if we can remove I guess a their, vehicle from yard their yard art yeah. to our yard art because uh, we've been clearing a bunch of property at our house so we will have room for more things that this man can't turn down um, it was a good deal I know you just can't pass those up I know. well anyways um, we are on our way to go get that can't wait to show you guys what it is Brittany and Cody have quite the collection as we do. Um, so it's always fun going to their house looking at what they have. Hopefully we just don't get hit pulling in here. Yeah, we are in the opposite lane. We have a car coming towards us and we're trying to back up. I think you should happen. put your hazards on. Don't put them on. So here we go. Let's see what this car does. Oh. Hurry up. There you go. People. already went inside to go hang out with Brittany and the baby so me and Cody's out here getting ready to um, pull this truck out and I'll show you guys the first look of what we bought man it's cold outside 68 Ford cab over Cody's getting ready to pull it out of here oh <laughs> uh, yeah Alright, well I guess let's pull it out of here. Cody, when did you get that? What? This. The big international? Yeah. Oh, last year. I love that. Is that a bear trap? Bear trap? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You, you ought to get that fire truck too. The fire truck? Yeah, the thing. Load it up too. Am I getting in and steering? <laughs> well yeah, that's your job. Look what it says on the door. Indiana State Highway Commission. Mm. All right, climb What hey, did it say can, there? What? Can you flip the cab open, like with someone in it? Uh, huh? No, because that's what Well, flip it up. Let's just see it real quick. I want to see it flip. Open the door. Well, what do you think? Oh, here it goes. Nest. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Could you imagine driving that and not doing that? <laughs> Forgetting to latch it down, hit the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, climb in. Oh, 
She's looking for snakes and I am spiders. Great. She's got to inspect, go, inspect it. it before she gets in. Look at the door handle. Cuss. Three-eighths bolt. Start it up, it runs. Okay. It actually does run, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Runs pretty dang good. If you start it up. Well, there ain't a battery in it. Oh, I was like, okay. <laughs> Why aren't we driving this thing on the trailer? I'm sure she's in good shape. Just gotta hold this clutch. Um, I don't know where neutral is. That's telling me, I don't know, Corey, if this is in neutral. <laughs> we'll find out when it rolls or it out. Well, I guess I'll just stay on the clutch. Well, just let off over here and say it. I'm here with it. All right, just kidding. Here we go. Oh, well, this ain't the worst one I've had to be in. <laughs> so, and I don't, I still don't know where neutral is. Can't tell this little gear shift is. I mean, there is room for the whole family in here. I cannot believe how big this bench seat is. So I don't know what our plan is here because, like, he is going to have to get on the trailer too if we keep pulling it like this. Alright, let's hook the winch to her. Yeah, I was going to say, what's your plan now? The plan this, is... Sh give me that. Let me show them this bench seat. Is literally... Is it awesome? Yeah, like there's room for the whole family in here. Yeah. Enough room for a 12 valve? Yeah. <laughs> Got a beautiful family of mice in here. It's going to be wonderful. Now, I don't know. No one's seen that. He just got in his truck and put the parking brake on. Good job, babe. No. Shut the door. I don't want to lock myself in here. Cody is assisting the ramps. Like, when I was quiet, I could hear the mice that are on top of the heater scratching around. No, thank you. Mice, mouse, mice curl up my leg, I will freak out. Oh, God. This is what we're doing because I can't tell if it's in neutral or not. Things are popping and cracking, and I'd rather be inside holding the baby. We have to see how high I, it is because of that bridge. Yeah, I think we're over. You ride in here and see if we hit it. Okay. Nifty little thing right here. Oh, a little holder? To. Like a little handle? Yeah. Professional. Professional form truck loader. Hey, grab that strap real quick. There you go. Okay, here. Okay. Just throw it. Okay. <laughs> 1967 International V200. Gas or Bought it from an old farmer way up north and Thanks. pulled it back. Is it diesel or? Yes. Gas? Big old V8. Let's see it. Bird nest included? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your plan with this? Build it to a semi for yeah. a toy hauler. And then put the trailer over there on it? Hold my gooseneck or my semi trailer. Sweet. Keep Heck the yeah. seats and everything. It's actually a pretty good shape. Got an air horn? Yeah. Heck yeah. That's cool. And it's got a CV back here. Yep. <laughs> it used to be a semi. Oh yeah? 
and someone convert to a grain truck. Yeah, the story I got on it. Thanks, sweet. It's got perfect patina on it. Oh yeah, it's my favorite part of it. Yeah, that's cool. Sweet. So you just take the bed off and then just put a, the semi back section on it? Yeah, yeah I got these axles section. I plan on using, but I'm back yeah. and forth about it. Yeah. Because I like the look of the Dayton wheels. Yeah, I just hate, the, hate yeah. the maintenance of them. Yeah. Thanks, sweet. Where are we starting with this? You got a <laughs> hundred things going. I got a Model A I'm piecing together for a rat rod project, and I've got 1940 Ford, 52 Dodge, and a Volkswagen Beetle. The Volkswagen is definitely a ton of parts. Definitely modified Volkswagen. That's definitely that didn't come out factory. Is that something you found, or is that just yeah? I, someone started it. It came out of Illinois. Oh yeah. What uh, year's the yellow Dodge? 52. 52. That's gonna be my line X truck. Perfect. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, Cody owns a uh, line X here in Columbus, and so if you need anything line X in the Columbus area, get with Cody. He'll hook you up. Someone's, it's already got a frame and everything under this. Yeah, the it's a pretty good little start. The frame's real thin though. Yeah. Um, then I got a bunch of random parts. Yeah, for yeah. Projects and good stuff is. though. You said something about a fire truck. Oh yeah. Hey, there's a metal Jeep. Looks like mine. It's rough. <laughs> it's for sale. So the fire truck. What year is the fire truck? 1937 Max fire truck. That's not the original frame. Oh, it ain't. It was a big ladder truck. And somebody decided they didn't want the frame anymore. Strapped it, kept the body. Huh. Be cool if you could piece it back together and make it look like, you know. That was my plan. This is for sale, though, ain't it? It is. Yeah. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred bucks. There we go. So, just Google Google what it is, and you guys will know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Utility bed's sweet. A little short bed utility box. That's going to be for the Linex truck. Oh, uh, for the yellow so Dodge. I'm going to try to match the patino yeah. of the truck on this. Well, that, that works out perfect because it's even got a Dodge tailgate on it. Yeah, it's an old Dodge bed and somebody built a utility bed out of it. Oh, I, I see. the fenders yeah. off. Huh. They did a good job on making the doors and stuff. I think somebody used that as a little camper or something. Oh, yeah, maybe put like a top on it. Yeah, it had, it's got stakes and oh. levelers. Oh yeah, uh, it's called the Widowmaker. The Widowmaker, that's what it was. It's a 07 <laughs> JK on tons, and ORIs, LS, five speed, four yeah. link front and rear. It's got a custom dash in, if I remember right. Yeah, 69 Jeep Commando. <laughs> that's awesome. Sounds good. If you guys went back in some of my videos, you guys will recognize the Snap-on truck, Cody. Cody ended up with the front half of the snap-on van. I and the doors. You got the oh yeah, you do got the doors. And uh, there's what's left of my snap-on van. I just had to have. And Cody was like, "Do not junk that. I want it." So yeah, I had to have. Yeah. Now that? he's got it. <laughs> Man, I can't get over that semi. I want to show you guys this uh, his semi trailer. Oh, a whole lot about it, other than it was from the Dixie Ohio Express, yeah, which is an old freight there. company that closed a long time ago. It's an all stainless steel trailer. And you... 1947 Fruhoff semi-trailer. 47. I'll and this think, ain't something you can haul home. You had a you had to drag it home on a semi, right? Yeah, it was <laughs> quite an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I could have recorded that one. Yeah, that thing is sweet. All right, so what I want to show you guys the most is Cody's... What this thing start off as? 1967 Jeep CJ5. CJ5. So it's, it's on air ride. It's got a Nissan diesel Nissan in it, Nissan diesel right? out of a box truck, five speed. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's got so, the box truck front axles, the wheels and tires, fuel tank in the back, radiator, wire and harness, steering column. About the only thing Jeep left is the body, the grill, and the steering wheel. Nice. Bought the whole box truck and then try to salvage everything he possibly could out of it to put in this thing. Is it right? I was going to say, I thought it was... Right hand drive for a short second there. I'm like, I don't remember being right hand drive. Oh yeah. Look how cool. Look at this center console in this thing. What's the push button? Is that an ejecto seat? No, that's the horn. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> so custom frame, you built I mean you you built this whole thing from nothing, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I've put 
So the doors on this would have been sliding doors? No. No? No, they this were like is that? not a male Jeep, so they were just like, that's just the regular CJ5 with a, I don't know if it's factory, but it's the same era, hard top, steel hard top with the steel full doors. Nice. And a lot of times in the summer, you take the whole hard top off. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it stays off in the summer. <laughs> this thing's too cool. So this is the steering column out of the box truck as well. Yeah. And the pedal assembly? So the pedal assembly is out of a Jeep Cherokee. Oh, yeah? And then the gas pedal is out of a Jeep Cherokee. The seats are John Boat. John Boat. Um, the brake booster. That's what. So I use the Cherokee. So I use the Cherokee master cylinder and brake booster and the proportional valve. Okay. Uh, you got to show them the, my oh, the, ther sensor. the thermostat. That's my or cool the gauge. sensor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and the exhaust comes out the door. Well, we'll start being 32 degrees or? It'll start. All right. Well, we got the keys so. though. Oh, we got to get the keys. <laughs> it, it ain't a screwdriver? No. Dang it. <laughs> Before we start that, you're holding out. What we got over here? <laughs> That's my 56 Dodge. Heck yeah, that thing's nice. It's got a Plymouth Volari, 78 Plymouth Volari front clip, Ford 9 inch, uh, 318 automatic. It's thing's nice. Pretty clean. You need to get that out and cruise it around. I do. That's a good looking truck. Took me 10 years, but I finally got it out. All right. And then we got the big yellow guy. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to get this home. I don't even know my plans on this yet, but. Need to build a ramp truck. Ramp truck? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm already building a ramp truck out of my orange truck. Oh, yeah. I'll have two ramp trucks. One for me and one for Hannah. There you go. <laughs> so, real quick before you start this thing up. Is that, that's the straight axle out of the box truck? The front axle is, yeah. Yeah. Huh. But it already had disc brakes. Yeah, so that's, but, like, with this big six, though, that's pretty much your option of wheel, right? Yeah, that's but, all I got. But then in the back, you ended up putting like a JK rear end in it, right? And then yeah, but I since I worked in a machine shop, ah, I see. <laughs> I machined I, myself some adapters to go from five lug to six lug. Then I took the hubs off the full full floater, and I basically made center caps out of the the hubs, so it still looks like a full floater axle. I see. I see. But that. Yeah, it's a Dana I see that. Now that you pointed that out, yeah. So that that is just a center cap. Now it's yeah, it's just a just a fake. That's full pretty, floater. Pretty cool. The this axle is actually out of the Widowmaker. Oh really? And I narrowed it eight inches and basically just running the outer dual. So when you narrowed, you had to narrow the inner shafts too, right? Yep. I had Who did that? It. Uh, Moser. Wow. Okay. Up in Portland. I'll have Indiana. to keep that in mind. <laughs> Sounds really good. <laughs> huh. That thing's too cool. Oh, you gotta get the village customs in there. Oh, yeah, village custom is in there. And the foot and shop. Look <laughs> at this little guy. <laughs> he got cold. Yeah, he did. Is that your uh, mouse for your rat rod? Yeah, that's Frederick. <laughs> Frederick. <laughs> and a freeze over overflow. Yeah. <laughs> Mississippi mud, black, black and tan. Someone left that here a long time ago when I used to throw parties. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got over here? Wagon's a 63 Studebaker Wagoneer, and then that's a 49 DeSoto. Huh. This one I want to be as close to restored as possible. Like you're talking about shiny paint? Yeah, yeah. Uh, shiny paint? Uh, just on this one. It, it was factory teal, so Hannah liked oh, that. Oh, well, Hannah will love it. <laughs> it's got a, a retractable roof. Retract oh, yeah? So That's this pretty would, cool. This would slide forward, so you'd roll the window down. Slide it forward, and you could haul, haul our stuff in there. Huh. It's got really cool tail lights. It's got a pretty good body on it, really. Yeah. It's pretty straight. I, I, I got this out of Kentucky. Oh, yeah? What was up with this little notch? That's where the tail lights go. 
Oh yeah, that was that was good. the older ones that they didn't have remove or retractable fronts, but they had round tail lights that were pretty sweet. Getting chop top and slammed like a little Air baby ride. chop top, like three inches. Or we're oh talking no, like six it's, inches. It's getting like yeah, six in the front, seven in the rear, something crazy like that. And what's the what's the engine combo here? It's actually in a frame back there. It's gonna have a 360 fuel injected automatic with overdrive. Is that how that blue Dodge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was gonna get a 12 valve, but well, someone else 12 valve swaps everything. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be proud of me. I actually bought a Mercedes the other day for the yeah, Crosley, I so I moved away from the 12 valve for one vehicle. Okay, we're trying to measure this thing because the bridge down here is only 13 foot seven. And before we make this thing a convertible, we're trying to see um, if it's going to go under that bridge or not. Four inch. 12 foot, four inches. So we have, <laughs> we have a foot to spare. Foot clear-ish. What was, what was the history on this before I get out of here? So, 68 C600. It was part of the Indiana Highway Department. Okay. Indiana State Highway. Um, the story I got was they retired these things at 100,000 miles and they auctioned them off. Oh, yeah? Somebody messed up on the paperwork and put 100,000 miles, but this truck only had 10,000 miles. Huh. It's in really Something good like shape. That. And farmer bought it and used it on this farm for several years. Oh, yeah? I think it's only got like 50 something thousand miles on it now. And then you got it. You drove it here, right? I drove it here from Comiskey. All right, so Cody's got this selection of axles. And as you guys know, I'm trying to build this Crosley. And he recommended, hey, why not use this little straight axle out of a, a Jeep? So I think we're going to load that up now because it's got disc brakes and everything. And uh, he's got a few for me to choose from. Good morning, Buckwheat. <laughs> Good morning come to help me unload this thing i don't know about good um <laughs> it is 24 degrees okay. <laughs> okay we made it home with the 68 flat nose ford and due to the time change down here it got it got dark too quick on us and uh we couldn't unload it last night so we got to unload it this morning <laughs> So, I know it's hard to be nice and chipper in the morning, especially when it's freezing cold and everything's going wrong, but we think the tractor is out of fuel, and I just seen Corey walking down to his farm truck with a, um, like a gas jug and a water hose. Pretty sure he's going to siphon the fuel out of the farm truck way up there. Yep, that sure looks like what he's doing up there. All right, hopefully that'll be enough That's all I can get. to start that bad boy up. And hopefully he doesn't have to play the injectors. Here he 
I can't see. his tractor dies right now um, this thing I can't figure out I mean it doesn't really have brakes I can't figure out the um, parking brake is over here but I don't even know if that works and the tractor doesn't have brakes so that means that we will all be going down the hill here's Corey I wish his phone would Hold still. But we are back here. We made it. Here she is, future four week custom home. We're going to stop that there. Peace. Good to get a game plan, people, because we don't a lot of times and we argue yeah, because. Put you in there for this? Yeah. So just, you're going to turn and turn right. Yeah. A lot of times we argue because I don't know what he wants and I'll do what I think I'm supposed to do. So at least we have a game plan-ish. Get that bed. Let's see. <laughs> think that does anything all right we have our first truck in the like two acre lot we cleared um <laughs> thanks at... to jim he brought his backhoe over here and just went crazy so we're glad um we have more room for more farm trucks so yeah, that's the whole reason we <laughs> hadn't got this truck yet because we just simply didn't have room but our next stop is turkey rod run we decided warmer weather sounds nice so we are headed south on wednesday which it's today when you're watching this. Um, we'll be headed 13 hour drive to Daytona Beach and we're taking the Viking on the back of the camper. So if you see us, if you can catch us, uh, wave us down. We'd love to see you and meet you. Um, but I think we're freezing, we're gonna go in. Yeah, so it's only 28 degrees this morning. So and we've still gotta go get the camper, pack yeah. the wheel bearings. We have a lot to do before Wednesday. so. Thank you as always for um, watching these and all your guys' support. So we will catch you guys on the next video. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.